Situated along the Sefton coast, the largest dune system in England, Ainsdale Nature Reserve is a vast 508 hectares of sand dunes, grassland and pine woods. With 450 different plant species, 33 regionally rare species, the dunes in its grasslands are a haven for mammals, reptiles, amphibians and invertebrates. During late spring to midsummer, the dunes are alive with the flutter of butterflies, moths, bees, crickets and grasshoppers. Emerging from their cocoons, the abundance of butterflies and moths is a sight to behold. Ainsdale Dunes is home to the endangered natterjack toads and rare sand lizards. There is another rare animal that chooses to call these dune slacks its home. The Northern Dune Tiger Beetle These beetles are so rare to our shores, they are only located at two sites in Britain, here and another dune system in Cumbria. Emerging in two colonies between April and August, the tiger beetles are only round for one month, reaching incredible speeds of up to 2.5 meters per second. These beetles scaled up to human size would be moving at 400 miles per hour. With an optimal body temperature of 35 degrees, these beetles thermoregulate by retreating to the shade of nearby plants and grasses, some taking flight to cool down. If their temperature rises too much, they will burrow themselves underground to cool down from the heat. Burrowing isn't just for temperature regulating. After mating, the female beetle would dig a small hole to lay her eggs inside. After hatching, the larvae will dig a tunnel and live inside it for up to two years before emerging. The beetle larvae will use ambush tactics, eating any prey that is around or falls within its tunnel. The speed of the dune tiger beetle is both its greatest strength and weakness. Moving so quickly the beetles can't distinguish prey whilst moving. To overcome this, the beetles stop regularly to look for prey. Prey like this rubber fly need to remain still to not get noticed by the beetle. Other defense mechanisms such as the hard smooth shell of this ladybird protect it from the mandibles of the beetles. This fly hasn't been so fortunate. Using its large mandibles, the beetles slice through its prey, cutting it into pieces. These large mandibles aren't only used for the consumption of prey. During mating, the male will use these mandibles to hold and pin down the female's thorax, holding on to the female and guarding her to stop any other male from mating with her. A 
secure meal, however, may be interrupted by another beetle. Venturing further into land, we reach the pine woods. Planted in the early 20th century, the pine trees here can grow to a staggering 60 meters tall. The pine trees were planted to stop the overspilling of sand dunes onto private and public land. The forest floor is covered in plant life and fruiting bushes, allowing the invertebrate population to thrive. Although within these woods, you need to look towards the canopy to see Sefton Coast's most beloved mammal. Speeding through the pine trees, looking for pine cones to eat. The pine woods at Ainsdale are a stronghold for the red squirrels within the northwest of England. There are only 140,000 red squirrels left in the UK, and those that call Ainsdale Woods home are a welcome sight to see. After an outbreak of squirrel pox in 2018, which is transmitted by the non-native grey squirrel, the red squirrels at Ainsdale have managed to bounce back. Being a site of special scientific interest, Natural England have been undertaking a dune restoration program. The dunes are currently being overtaken with grassland. The aim is to try and move more sand into the dune system to create areas of burr sand to benefit species such as the endangered natterjack toad. This is being done by creating notches in the front dunes with the hopes that the wind will carry more sand into the dune system. Fires within the dunes and woodland are also trying to be prevented with large signs around the reserve as well as signs and notices in the nearby towns with local shops opting out of selling disposable barbecues. Toad highways have been implemented to help the Natterjack toads during their breeding season. The use of sheep and cattle throughout late summer and the winter months are being implemented to clear away vegetation within the dunes to create more areas of bare sand. With the help from organisations like Natural England and the local people making conscious decisions, the dunes at Ainsdale will be able to thrive and be a haven for some of the UK's most endangered wildlife. 